Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. In today's video, I am finally getting around to taking down our Valentine's Day decorations. You heard me right. These guys have been up for over a month and I've just kind of been procrastinating with this whole undecorating. So today I'm finally taking everything down, putting it away, and I will be labeling my little container that holds all of these guys at the very end of this video. But to start, we're just gonna be taking down all of the little signs that I have hanging on all the doors and working on undecorating our bathroom. And since St. Patrick's Day is just around the corner, I will be putting up just a few decorations for that and these won't be up for the entire month so I will be taking them down pretty shortly after the holiday in another video. So I brought this little vase with some fake flowers into the bathroom because I thought it would look nice here and it was kind of crowding our kitchen island so I figured I would kill two birds with one stone, move it into the bathroom. It does fit the artwork and as you guys will see in just a little bit, I will be putting a wreath with the same type of flowers on the bathroom door so that just kind of everything flows together. Moving on, we're going to be taking down these little window clings and then putting up some ones for St. Patrick's Day and Aubrey will be helping me. This is one of like her favorite things to do when I am decorating, so I make sure to help her up on the counter so that she can put up some of these on our window. I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one no one likes being like to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us
so now that all of the decorations are nicely packed away in this little bin we are going to be cutting out a little label using my Cricut. I designed this using the font minimalistic from defont.com. It is free and I got some little hearts as well. So we're just going to cut this out and label the box. I do have a little bit of a dilemma. This box was also holding like the three St. Patrick's Day decorations that I had that you guys saw me put up. And I just didn't feel like it was worth labeling like and St. Patrick's Day on this box. I want it to be like more aesthetically pleasing and I felt like that would just be too many words on a box. So let me know what you guys would do. Would you just like let it slide and just know in your head that there's St. Patrick's Day stuff in that box? Should I create a new box? Should I add another label? I really don't know. I think I'm just gonna throw the stuff in there and then I'll see when I open the box like oh yeah there's St. Patrick's Day stuff when I'm cleaning up but anyways let me know what you guys what you guys would do down below in the comments I'm kind of at a loss but anyways I'd like to thank you guys for watching today's video if you are like me and haven't cleaned up your Valentine's Day stuff I hope this serves as motivation to finally get it done anyways don't forget to hit that like button and if you guys are new again I'd love for you to subscribe and stick around and check out all of my motherhood content and I will catch you guys in the next one. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness and I will catch you in the next one.